Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. It's great to see you guys today. Hopefully this video finds everyone doing really well. I'm doing pretty great, actually. Um, it's been a great couple of days. Uh, I had a little bit of an incident a couple days ago. I told you about in the last video. My car was kind of ramsackled through and some stuff was stolen, but no windows were broken and uh, my dash cam wasn't taken. Uh, which is kind of expensive so i'm really happy about that but um yeah i don't know but it's been a good couple of days since then um been able to get some decent rest and spend time with family get some videos done uh it's been good so anyways if you're new to the channel thank you so much for coming hopefully you'll decide to stay please hit the subscribe and notification bell if you're coming back thank you so much i really appreciate you now i say that every time but i do mean it i really do and uh yeah the comments are always great keep them coming i i really appreciate it um and i know this sounds weird to say but i really do with all my heart love all you guys you guys are awesome all right so i have an announcement of the winner today and i'm i'm super excited about that so um karen mabry or mabry i'm not sure how to pronounce it so i'm sorry if i said it wrong but you are the winner of our giveaway of the Diamond Art Club AB Storage Solutions from Floss and Crafter and the Lays and Lathe Work Pen. Congratulations. Hopefully you will enjoy them and get some good use out of them. So today I want to do an unboxing of a special Christmas themed Diamond Art Club kit. Um, I know Christmas is coming and uh, it's getting kind of close the time, but I just kind of wanted to show you what was out there. Uh, so if you still wanted to grab some, you could. I don't know if they're available. I haven't checked today, uh, so I do apologize for that. But I know that it's one that I I saw and I, I just knew it had to be in my collection. Um, I know that it's too close to Christmas and I'm working on Mad Kitty presently. So there's, there's no Christmas ones that are going to be done this year by me. Um, but that's okay because they're in my collection and I will get around to doing them eventually. So, but anyways, let's get you down to the table, shall we peeps? Come on, let's go. Okay, peeps, we are on the table and ready to rock and roll. So we have the Diamond Art Club box. Nothing too spectacular, it's a box. It's got some holographic shimmer and shine to it, some little designs on it. The back of the box will tell you what it has in it, which is basically everything you need to diamond paint. Um, you do not need anything else. You can get it. It's absolutely nice and wonderful to have extra stuff, but it's not necessary. Um, it tells you how to do the diamond painting. You're going to peel back the protective film covering the canvas. You're going to select a symbol. You're going to match up the symbol with the DMC color um, drills. You're going to put the drills in your tray put the wax in your pen, pick up the drills with your pen and place them on the corresponding symbols in the on the canvas to create your picture. The picture will emerge. Um, so yeah, let's just get to it. I'm, I'm super excited about this. Okay. And then you can tell it's around cause it's round here and it's got the pink. If it was square, it'd be a square symbol with the blue. So pull this out. Okay. All the stuff out of the bottom of the box and set that off to the side okay so as usual I want to start off well oh, guess I kind of showed you guys that already I want to start off with the toolkit now I have some exciting news all right if you haven't checked it out already you need to diamond art club is upgrading their toolkit and um, that is super exciting. From my understanding is the baggies will now be put in a bag. The tray will now have a stopper and be glittered. Um, there will be um, tweezers now in the kits, I believe. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about it. I, I complete, I'm blanking on what's all in it. So just look it up and check it out. It's super exciting. Um, yeah, Diamond Art Club is always upping their, their game. I believe their wax is also going to be in containers now. Um, so 
I do apologize that I don't have all the exact deets on that, but check it out. Um, get some information on it. I'm sure you'll be just as excited as I am. So two wax patties, heart-shaped, some baggies, a squishy, the pen, the four-placer, which is nice because it's thin, so it places nicely, and then the tray. So all the stuff you need to dye my paint. Let me go ahead and put these back in their little baggie. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, throw that off to the side. It comes with a little sticker, which I'll show you in a little bit. And it comes with a big sticker, which is awesome. I really enjoy the fact that now the stickers are cut because I remember a day when the stickers weren't cut and I had to cut them personally. So I enjoy the fact that I don't have to do that anymore. Okay, so it comes in a little plastic sleeve. It says, it's labeled Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. This is nice because it keeps it nice and protected. Let's go ahead and pull these out and set them off to the side. I'll set them over here, actually. All right, let me roll this backwards to get it kind of straightened out. And remember, with poured glue, you can do that. You do not want to do that with a double-sided adhesive. Um, you create problems for yourself. Just don't do it. Um, yeah. So, cool thing about Diamond Art Club is the canvases are super soft. Um, they have a shimmer, a sparkle, and a shine to them. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally do. Um, the edges are scalloped, which is nice. Keeps it from fraying. Let's see which way is right side up. Here we go. All right, ready, guys? One, two, three, and go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I need to move this out a little bit. Sorry. I gotta, I gotta adjust this. There we go. There we go. All right. I know you got a lot of reflection going on there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Look at that. All right, this one is labeled Christmas at Times Square. It's a Chuck Pinson. It's 28 by 22 inches, which is 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters. Isn't that just amazing? Um, I can't wait to see this done, to see how it actually turns out. I was a little worried that it'd be too busy to come out very good. Um, mm, I think it's going to be okay. I just, I would have to see it done. And I know that a lot of Chuck pins and pieces are super busy and they usually turn out really, really well. So, um, I'm not going to judge this one too much before I actually do it because I think that it will turn out good. Let's measure this puppy, shall we? All right, we have almost 71 by almost 56. So it's almost spot on, which is really good. It's got 42 colors. Let's zoom down here and see if we can see some of this detail just a little bit better. See how clear that is? That's, I'm not even moving the canvas at this point. I'm just zooming into the table. Um, super clear. Super clear. All right. Let's look at our symbols. Let me go ahead and move the canvas over here. All right. We're going to zoom in again. I'm learning how to use the features on my phone a little better. All right, so we have the colors here. It looks like three ABs. Those look pretty good. Don't see, I don't see any problems.
Nope, don't see any problems at all. Looks pretty good. All right, let's check out the stick on this puppy. Good stick. Great stick. All right. So let's move it up here. I'll zoom you guys out. Let's see. Get this organized a little better. Yes, I know. I got my tripod, my mount set up a little differently this time. So it's a little bit closer to the edge of my desk. So you're seeing all of my, my stuff over here. Um, <laughs> I, I hope you don't mind. Uh, I just didn't want to move the tri the, the mount again. I apologize. But anyways, um, let's see. Let's look at our stickers. We have the big one here, Christmas at Times Square. It shows the picture there. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So pretty. Okay, the um, sticker tells you the diamond shape, the size, the skew number, start date, end date, name of the piece, and the artist. Um, these are individual little stickers over here that you can take off and use on your kit ups. Um, I find them very useful. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I, I, I would hate not having them. So thank you, Diamond Art Club. I really appreciate it. All right. And then the small sticker, some people put them on their box. I put them on my, uh, kitting up containers on the, the lid, um, some people make cover minders or magnets out of them. Um, there's lots of different things available to do with these. Uh, see other creators for ideas. Um, I, I don't go into that very much. Um, maybe someday I will. But um, since I just put them on the front of my storage box, I don't see the need to uh, to do all the other stuff because I just I don't do it. So, yeah. All right, uh, instruction book comes with each kit. It does have a step-by-step -step guide, which is nice for those who need it. It does have a thank you 10% code off on inside, which is nice. Diamond Art Club is pretty good about giving discounts pretty much all the time of, of some sort. Um, it seems like they never want you to pay uh, full price because there's always something available to either use as a discount or a reward or something. So let's look at our colors here. Ooh, and I see some pretty colors. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. So we're gonna start off here. And I found an AB pretty much right off the bat. This is pretty orange color here. Um, I believe that's 133. And we will go over where that goes here in a minute. There are some purples and some pinks. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, the green is gorgeous. Okay, put this one off the side here. I just dropped one on the floor so I can pick it up. And we got some yellows. And there's an AB. And that's a really soft pale yellow. That one is number one. And the orange that I showed you was number two. Super excited. It's got three ABs in it. I love looking at the colors. I know I don't talk a whole lot sometimes when the colors are going through. I kind of get lost in them. Okay, maybe it only has two ABs. Am I, am I, am I wrong about one? Hmm, let me look at this again. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so silly. There it is. White. Uh, it was right next to the, the pale yellows. I was just so busy with the yellows. I didn't, didn't see the whites. I'm so sorry. And that is number three. I was pretty sure I wasn't wrong about there being three ABs because I, I know the numbers. Um, so, yeah. All right. Let's set these off to the side and look at the canvas. Set this over here. All right. So our ones are our pale yellow, our twos are our orange, and our threes are our white. So we have some threes up in here, mixed throughout. Here and here and here and here and here. Just dotted throughout. Little pieces of snow is what I'm assuming. They're all throughout here. Everywhere my finger is touching, like there's a few spots. A few spots here. All over the tree. Sorry about all the squeaking, by the way. I am, um, I am home with the kids and the husband and stuff. So there's three lighting all across here. Some here and here and here and here. There's a few dotted throughout here. There's a few dotted up in here. I'm assuming it's supposed to look like the snow has fallen. There's a couple of threes dotted throughout here. Um, they're actually dotted throughout pretty, pretty consistently. Some threes in here. Just trying to see. There's quite a few threes in here. Um, looks like there's some threes over in here and over here and here. This little ridge. Some here. Nope, not there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty throughout. Let's see, number two would be our orange. Just trying to find where those are located. Let's see. There's some in here. Some here. There's some here. Mm. This one is going to be an interesting one to do. Um, it's pretty confetti heavy. Some twos down in here, in here, here. Let's see, some in here. I don't know if I said that already over here and here. There are somewhere else. Try not to get my head or my hair in the way of the camera. Looks like I'm not finding a whole bunch more. There's some in here. Um, there's some up in here. Let's see. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. There's some over here. And I'm sorry, I have kids playing video games right now. So you might hear them occasionally <laughs> yell out. Um, they get rather expressive. Some twos over in here. Let's see, number one is our pastel. Well, not really pastel, it's kind of pastel-y. That yellow, that soft yellow. Um, I'm going to start over here and look and see if I can find any. Okay, so there's some ones there, 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 a couple there, a couple up in here. There are some here. There are some here, here, here. Um, there's some in here, some in here, 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 there. 
there, 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 all throughout here. Um, there's also some ones over in here. All throughout here is little spots. And all throughout here, it's a decent amount of ones. Um, there's some ones over in here. Up in here, let's see. Some ones in here. Um, a couple ones up in there. Some ones over here. I don't know if I said these already. I think I did. Yeah, this is actually really, really spread out with the ABs. They're a little bit everywhere. Um, there's three colors of them, so that's pretty generous. I really like it. I don't think I would do anything more to it. Um, I think that it's got just enough bling to make it mm, pop. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be phenomenal. I'm just a little worried about the rendering, um, whether it will look super pixelated or not. I think it's going to be okay. I really do. Um, just based on all the other Chuck Pinsons that I've done, because um, they look super busy when you when you first get them and... They're pretty he confetti heavy, in my opinion, but um, they usually turn out phenomenal, just phenomenal. Um, so I'm more than happy to do this one and give it a try and see what it turns out like. Because the more I'm looking at it, the more I can see detail, the more I can, I can decipher what's what. Um, I think it's just at first when you look at it, it's so much going on that it's a little overwhelming to the eye. Um, but looking at it through the camera especially, I can see where it's it's a lot better looking than when you're looking at it with a naked eye. With a naked eye, it, it just looks a little bit, well, pixelated, um, I guess would be the word for it. But I, I think, I think, honestly, that will turn out great. And um, I'm just, I'm really excited to to try it. And I'm hopefully going to get this one done for next Christmas. So um, probably start on that next couple of months. I have a couple other paintings to do first just to get them done. Um, I, I have every intention of doing this by next Christmas. But I know that I have so many that I have planned to do, so many that I want to do, that it may or may not happen. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. Um, Mad Kitty is my priority right now. And then I need to finish Free Like a Bird for my son, Zeth, because he's asked me to finish that for him. Um, he's really excited about it and loves it and wants it on his wall. So I need to finish that one up. Um, I know I have a couple other ones to do for the kids. I've already finished Nicholas's. I have uh, Zest to finish, and then I have Daryl to start and do. Um, and then, the, of course, there's Thomas and Christopher and Kenny that all have paintings that need to be completed. So um, eventually I'll get around to it. So, but yeah, um, I digress. And uh, kind of went off subject there for a minute. I apologize. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I appreciate you sticking through it. You're a champ. You're awesome. You're a rock star. Um, just I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Ta-ta. Toodaloo. Bye-bye.